Of all the home tours that I've done, I have never actually started the home tour in the pantry, but I am today. Stay tuned and you will see why. Hi everybody, it's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and take a look at this gorgeous home behind me. This is my newest listing located here in a beautiful gated community called Bradford Creek here in Winter Garden, just like one mile from Winter Garden Village, which is all of the shopping. And I believe it's like 2.3 miles to the historic downtown Winter Garden and the West Orange Trail. So this Tuscan elevation is absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite features is, first of all, the huge paved driveway, but the fact that you have a two car garage on one side and a single car garage over here on the other. So beautiful covered porch entry here and this is a really large floor plan, 4,225 square feet, five bedrooms, four bathrooms. Let me just tell you that the custom design done throughout this entire home, everywhere you look, really escalates this and takes this miles above the others around it. So I happen to be uh, the agent to help these particular sellers when they first purchase this home as a new construction build here um, four years ago. This is built in 2019. And I will tell you, seeing the transformation of this home has been incredible. It's beautiful design options already included in the home. And again, what they have done to escalate and elevate it are simply off the chart. So let's take a look at this floor plan. So a couple of the specific Again, 4,225 square feet, five bedrooms, four baths. Primary bed, uh, bedroom is upstairs, but what is really unique about this is really the way the layout of this Chesapeake floor plan, um, it, it kind of services pretty much everybody. So you've come in through the front door. So the fit and finish we're going to talk about as we kind of go through as well. So first of all, you have a beautiful wood plank looking porcelain tile that is extended not only into the, the foyer and over here into the hallway, into the office space, but to the dining and the main living space as well. Up the stairs, you have wooden stairs and again, more flooring and then carpet really only in the bedrooms. So beautiful entryway. The staircase with the wrought iron, wrought iron railing that goes extending up all around is absolutely magnificent but let's take a peek over here so first of all are you noticing all of the custom trim work for each of these entryways and these pass-throughs really exquisite luxury feel here in this home is amazing so when you come in over here is going to be your single car garage remember from the exterior we pointed out there was a two car and then a single car behind me is the single car garage with an epoxy floor you have this custom built entryway with your hooks to kind of drop those backpacks and coats and umbrellas and things like that over here you're going to have just an additional storage again lots and lots and lots of storage here in this home so from this pass through into this area you're going to have these solid French doors which is going to give you privacy for this office space so not only is this a room that's relatively designated as the office space but look at some of the things that they have done after the fact all of this is a customization that they have done to really make this room and this office space function for you whether you work from home whether you just need a spot to, to doodle off of the work hours or whether or not you're running a business. This room is amazing, but what they have added really, again, makes it function so well for you. So not only does it add the beautiful luxury, the elegance to it, but they have the beautiful antique white cabinets, the granite countertops, the lower counter here that's going to be a great spot for you if you're working. And again, a secondary drawer cabinets over here. I love the space, the extra outlets. I love the trim work. And even even what they have done up here, adding those sconces up on the wall. Of course, the crown molding in here, the taller baseboards, again, the porcelain tile, absolutely exquisite from top to bottom. And we haven't even gotten into the main hub of the home yet. So continuing on into this grand foyer, and I do mean grand because the entire foyer is two stories high. It's very expansive and seeing all of that wrought iron railing is just eye catching. Over here is our dining room. So this is a very large dining room. I cannot explain to you how big this room is. You can see here that they have a very typical sized eight seater dining room table. This could very, very easily seat many more 12 people adding that leaf in here and extra chairs. There's so much space here. So not only is the space itself beautiful, but they have also added the servery over here. So you have more of the cabinetry, you have another countertop, and you've got some kind of shiplap with a little uh, floating shelf here. Really great space to kind of sit and to serve, whether it's the hors d'oeuvres or the meals or the drinks, a great spot. But now we're not done because take a look at the ceiling. So not only does it have a tray ceiling, but again, the extra elevation 
elevation that they have done in this home with the crown molding, the shiplap treatment there up into the ceiling itself, and even the windows. Have you noticed the surround of the windows? They have added all of that wood trim around each of these windows. So over here to my left to your right is going to be the entryway to the two-car garage. So the two-car garage is tucked right back behind me, but over here is another customization that these homeowners have done. They have added this little stop and drop zone for you to kind of, you know, put the shoes away, put the purse away, the keys away, wallet, all of that, and then some extra storage over here as well. Going through again, the customization that they have done for these pass-throughs that, by the way, is not just trim. It is customization. It is beveled edges. It is angled accents. It's absolutely exquisite. So here we are into the main hub of the home. So one of the reasons that the Chesapeake floor plan was so incredibly popular when this community was new and growing is the expansiveness expansiveness of it, but as well as the usability of the square footage. So huge family room space right here with one, two, three, four windows that look out to the pool because yes, this is a pool home with beautiful landscaping behind. So a lot of space here in the family room, again, reminding you that that porcelain wood plank looking flooring has been extended from the moment we walked in the door all the way back over here. They have additional recessed lights here in this room as well with your ceiling fan up above. You have your arched curved entryway here into your kitchen. And when I say kitchen, I mean exquisite, really large, big kitchen. So take a look at the island just for instance. You can see that they easily have six chairs nestled around this island. You have the two pendant lights, and of course you see all of the additional cabinetry, counter space, drawer space. This is a gas community, by the way, so if that is something that is on your list of must-haves, you must have this home. So you have your gas cooktop, and of course you've got the gourmet kitchen option with your oven and your microwave up above that. Obviously you've got the refrigerator, you've got all of the other elements of the refrigerator space and more cabinetry. But here, my friends, oh my gosh, I am so excited to share with you again. Nothing was left undone in this home. Take a look at the customization that they have done to this pantry. So not only is it a nice size pantry, but they have added all of the custom shelving up in there to really keep things neat and organized. They have added a little bit of a countertop area, some drawer space, but look at that. Do you see the nestled in recessed spice rack? Yes, they added that. They did these things after they closed on the home. And for the past several years, they've really been doing things to it to make it absolutely perfect for not only themselves, but apparently for you because it is exquisite. I love it. All right, so continuing on here into the kitchen area, right next door you have the most amazing large, it's not a breakfast nook. This is not a nook at all. This is another massive room. So depending on whether or not you're a small family or a large family, whether you have smaller get togethers or large group gatherings, this is going to satisfy those needs. So this one again is seating eight, two, four, six, eight at this square table, but you could put an elongated rectangular one again and have lots of of space. This is so bright, open and airy with the two big windows there, the three big windows here, and then of course the sliders that are going to take us out to the pool, which we're going to go take a look at in just a minute before we head upstairs. But we're not done here with the first floor. So we've gone through the foyer, we've gone through the office, the entryway over there, the dining room, the exquisite trim work, the kitchen area, the huge breakfast area, this living space. But coming back over here, you are going to have a bedroom and a full bath located right here on the first floor. So as you think about your family and the dynamic of who's going to be living with you. If you need someone or if it's a relative or even if it's a guest, you have a nice big bedroom located right here on the first floor. So nice big bedroom tucked away over here. And then of course you've got a full bathroom right here. Now let's take a look again at some of the detail fit and finish because this is important. You have the tile work that goes all the way up to the ceiling in this shower. So you have the porcelain tile, you have the square tile in the base of the shower, you have the frameless doors. And again, the tile work that goes all the way up to the ceiling, really, again, kind of accentuating kind of how high end this home is. Let's go take a quick peek at the outdoor pool area, and then we're going to go upstairs. So no Florida home is going to be complete without having your own outdoor oasis. And again, the homeowners here are not disappointing us. You have a huge covered lanai with the beautiful pavers, and they have added the pool and the screened enclosure. So if you're looking for a space to gather and to entertain, and the 4,225 square feet on the interior aren't enough, then let's join each other out here in the pool area. So you have a nice pool with the sun shelf over there, water feature. You have covered lanai space over here, but you also have your uncovered lanai space, so you, great place to sit and eat as well. But of course, you've got all of the beautiful landscaping back behind, making this a nice private with no rear neighbors. All right, so are you ready? Because we're not done. We still have a lot more fun to see when we go upstairs, so I will meet you there. 
So before I go upstairs, I want you to imagine things with me. You know, as a parent, there are things that really connect me emotionally to houses. And this is one that I have always, always fell in love with. This one, I can only imagine the kids coming down the staircases for prom or for homecoming or goodness gracious, even for a wedding. But this grand staircase is really a magnificent entrance from top to bottom to walking out to walking down. And if nothing else, it is a huge visual plus for this home. So let's talk about the upstairs. The upstairs is going to provide you with four bedrooms and that's including that primary bedroom with a closet that you will not believe. So tucked back over here is going to be one of the bedrooms, a full bath, and then of course the game room. So let's take a peek at the bedroom first, shall we? So tucked back over here is going to be bedroom number one. So in this bedroom, you can see the customization that they've done, not only in the back wall, but as the closet as well. So they've done some cu custom closet organization in here as well, not to mention the wood trim that they've done behind the bed. All of that, of course, stays. So over here to my left, to your right, is going to be the bathroom that's going to be for this bedroom and maybe any guests that might be happening uh, to hang out in that game room, which we're going to look at in a minute. So again, that is another example of the tub shower combo with the tile work going all the way up to the ceiling. Again, exquisite. So over here to my left, to your right, is another room that will not disappoint. This is a huge amount of space in this game room. So the game room has not only the square footage to really have everyone enjoy one another, but I have to tell you, they've added some more custom built-ins here because of course they did. So not only did they add additional recess light to make this room nice and bright, I call this a work wall because again, they are adding their customization to really make this room function for you, not only for fun and hanging out, but if there's any work that needs to be done, the space here is great with three individual workstations, cabinets, counters, drawers, including one of the cabinets that even is it's sized specifically to hold the printer. That's how customized this is. So not only is the room nice, big, and bright, but there's also a really lovely Juliet balcony type of an effect here on the exterior elevation, allowing us another little element kind of, of, of um, just kind of a beautiful aesthetic design. Now, before we go further, I have to stop and point this out. So this home, when they originally purchased it, had these three recessed areas, but that was it. It was just recessed areas, right? So they have added it. They have made the, the little recessed wall that was nothing into not only something, but a magnificent something. So of these three, they have done customization in the back. They have done the trim work all around and check this out. My friends, they have added a shelf right here or a countertop with additional cabinetry to store. And not only that, but they were smart enough to add an outlet back here behind. So you have an outlet back over here. That would be great if you ever needed to plug anything in, whether it was like village pieces or garlands that light up really magnificent. And we have to make sure that we mention that because it is so incredible. All right. We're going to go down this hallway now where we're going to have two more bedrooms, the laundry room and another full bathroom. And of course the primary is back behind me, but let's take a peek over here. So over here, we are in the laundry room. Again, a nice size laundry room. That's almost like two rooms in one, because you see this, there's a nice big arch here. And then there's this little nugget tucked back over here with more cabinet counter and, uh, and counter and cabinet space. This is your washer dryer, obviously area. So you would, um, have your full Holding station up above. You would have your cabinetry up above the shelf. This is so smart. Who's thinking here? Pull the clothes out of the dryer, hang it up. I'm a little bit jealous. Lots of counter space here as well with the utility sink and the laundry room. So absolutely magnificent. Again, every room has got some customization to it and really taking it up a notch. So back here between this little arch here, it's almost like this little section is going to be its own zone. So we're going to have two bedrooms tucked back over here, both of which have, again, their own customization done to them. So nice big bedroom, again, closets with uh, custom closet shelving in them. But this one is going to have the beautiful wood accent wall. So not only have they done the trim work around the, around the windows, again, all of that is something that the seller has added to this home after they moved in, but a beautiful wood treated wall really kind of, again, giving that room its own little night dynamic punch over here is going to be the full bathroom. That's going to serve as both of these bedrooms, two sinks. You've got the gray cabinets, a beautiful countertop, separate door with the shower, again, tile work to the ceiling with the frameless shower. And then here we are in the other bedroom tucked at the end of the hall. So this one again is nice and private. And I love the accent wall that they have done here with that blue and that wood treat, uh, wood trim treatment is beautiful. And again, of course we have the custom closets done in this room as well. So now we're going to take a look at that primary bedroom located here at the end of the hall. And it 
is magnificent. It is really, really beautiful. So you're going to come in through an arched, a little accent arched recess in through the door. And what's amazing is just honestly the amount of space everywhere. So let's take a peek over here at the primary bathroom. This is probably my most favorite primary bathroom ever. It is truly like a spa retreat oasis, so full of just the spa-like feel, that elegance, that luxury, and it really functions well. So you have a privacy door for the toilet, but you have two completely separate areas with the vanities, the smaller with the single sink and the cabinets, and then of course you have the longer one that has the makeup area. But what I really like about this is the center tub that's located right here, it not only serves a purpose, but it is an art artistic feature here in the home that's going to be right right in front of the walk-through shower that is back behind you. The shower, by the way, that is frameless and has two doors. You have an entrance on that side and an entrance on this side. This side over here has another niched out area that's great for storage or like they use it with the laundry basket. And then on this side, you're going to have another linen closet. So again, this primary bathroom, absolutely exquisite. Tile work to the ceiling, tile on the floor, beautiful. Over here is going to be the large master um, a closet. So you talk about another room. This is enormous. Now you can tell that they are in the process of packing up and ready to move out, but look at all of the space in here. It is huge. Lots of space on one side. You've got the wall and then you've got lots of space on the other side and then all of the other space around. So if you decided to add some customization to this, I don't even know what this thing would look like because it's already amazing. And then through the final arch, guys, we are into the final home stretch of the home. And when I say home stretch, I mean, this is it. This is a beautiful, incredibly large primary bedroom. It is enormous. So you can see by all of the space in here from corner to corner, we have a lot of room that we get to utilize. A big oversized king size bed with big chunky furniture, large oversized nightstands with still probably three feet. Um, yeah, probably about two and a half feet on either side. And of course, the chest of drawers. So all of this floor space over here, the dresser, the three windows, all of this is amazing. But take a look up here. We're not going to leave you without showing you one more element of extreme beauty an accent here in this home. So this is a tray ceiling that they have just gone above and beyond. It's not just crown molding and it's not just beams. It is that and so much more. There's recessed lights, there's a ceiling fan with a light, but then there are all of these little quadrants that you have located in that tray ceiling. Again, absolutely elevated up a notch. This is a beautiful home, relatively new, built in 2019. So it's still a very young home, my friends. Large, 4,225 square feet, five bedrooms, four baths, plus an office, three car garage with a pool, magnificent upgrades and touches of customization pretty much at every turn. I hope you love this home as much as I do. Please give me a call at 407-848-8042. I cannot wait to show you this home in person. It's not going to last long, my friends, so call right away. Have a great day and as always, please remember to stay safe, stay well, remember we love you and happy house hunting.